uh, from the very parties who are appearing before them to be judged. It's the big law firms who appear there consistently, the corporations and the corporate PACs with cases before the judges. And judges at the Supreme Court level are almost completely reliant on these sources for their seats on the bench. And there are many cases that raise your eyebrows. It's a problem that troubles two U.S. Supreme Court justices. Let me just give you some statistics from a poll conducted by the Texas State Supreme Court and the Texas Bar Association, which found that 83 percent of the public think judges are already unduly influenced by campaign contributions. 79 percent of the lawyers who appear before the judges think campaign contributions significantly influence courtroom decisions. And almost half of the justices on the court think the same thing. I mean, isn't the verdict in from the people that they cannot trust the judicial system there anymore? This is serious because the law commands allegiance only if it commands respect. It commands respect only if the public thinks the judges are neutral. And when you have figures like that, the judicial system is in real trouble. We actually talked to a lobbyist in Texas who boasted that he had succeeded in reshaping the philosophy of the Texas Supreme Court through an all-out political campaign and very large donations. I mean, what does that say? Oh, I, I think it shows if you have one group of people doing it, you'll get another group of people doing it. And if you have A uh, contributing to, infect a, uh, to affect a court one way, you'll have B trying the other way, and you'll have C yet a third way. And pretty soon, you'll have uh, uh, a clash of political interests. Now, that's fine for a legislature. I mean, that's one kind of a problem. Uh, but if you have that in the court system, you will then destroy confidence that the judges are deciding things on the merits. And if people lose that confidence, an awful lot is lost. They've got to have fair decisions. In the political context, fair means somebody that will vote for the union. Uh, or, for the, or for the business. Uh, it can't mean that in the judicial context, or we're in real trouble. What does it mean? To begin with, is it fair for the electorate to try to shape the philosophy at all without campaign contributions? Is this a proper function? Uh, I'm concerned about that. Uh, I do not think uh, that we should select judges based on a particular philosophy as opposed to temperament, commitment to judicial neutrality, and commitment to other more constant values as to which there is general consensus. The historian Plutarch said on the Roman Republic, quote, the abuse of buying and selling votes crept in and money began to play an important part in determining elections. Later on, this process of corruption spread to the law courts and then to the army. And finally, the republic was subjected to the rule of emperors. There must be a recommitment, a rededication to the Constitution in every generation. And every generation faces a different challenge. We weren't talking about this 30 years ago because we didn't have money in, in elections. Money in elections presents us with a tremendous challenge, a tremendous problem. And we are remiss if we don't at once address it and correct it.